I am Sayanj, working with the multinational IT company of India and uh, have total 10 years of experience in business intelligence. In this 10 years of experience, I worked on various BI tools starting from SAP Business Objects to ClickView and Tableau. I am certified professional of ClickView, Tableau and Business Objects. I am working as a trainer from past 7 years and almost taught 3000 plus students till now. So I worked almost 7 years in SAP Business Objects and then I turned my direction towards ClickView. So what attracted me towards ClickView? So before I tell you that what attracted me towards ClickView, let me, t let me tell you that what we are going to cover today. Today we are going to cover about business intelligence. Gartner and ClickView connection, how ClickView how ClickView support BI. Click view at other VI tool difference. Features of your click view. So these are the topics that we are going to cover today. So click view. Before we learn about ClickView, ClickView is a business intelligence tool that we already know about it. So BI, what does business intelligence means? BI is taking a raw data from the database, turning that data into information in the form of accessible and readable reports. That is what Gartner suggests about BI. As a layman, how, B, how BI, how we can uh, define BI for, to a layman? For a layman, let's assume Reliance as an organization. Reliance data can come from LAN, can, can come from network, can come from internet, can come from various other sources. We gather the data and create a data warehouse. But we cannot do the reporting on top of that data warehouse. So we purify the data or we create the data for our reporting purpose. And then we save the data into the, another data warehouse. To create and purify the data is done through the ETL. ETL means extract, transform and load. And now the data loaded into the another warehouse. Now this warehouse is a pure form of warehouse. And now on top of that we will do the reporting. That is the whole process that is called business intelligence. Taking a raw data from the database, turning the data into information in the form of accessible and readable reports. I usually don't teach my students through PowerPoint presentations because I feel that that, that was a little boring. So I usually type everything in a notepad and uh, before moving ahead, my teaching methodology is a little different from the other trainers. I usually give control to my students to practice in front of me. I, I, I give you the guidance and you need to practice. I give you the task and you need to complete. I give you the deadline and you need to complete that task in that time limit. That is how my teaching methodology is. Because as a trainer, I'm a, already an expert of ClickView. I don't need any more practice. I, I want to give my knowledge to my students. So, but for the demo purpose, I created few slides, not much. It's hardly four. Let's go through those slides. So this is how the typical business intelligence life, life cycle is. The typical business intelligence life cycle. There's a data collection department. Then there it, the data goes to data warehousing. Then data analysis and QA. And 
then reporting dashboards and KPI trends section. This is the idea which is important for us because we are the reporting or BI consultant. And then it goes to the user. So the data collection goes to the data warehouse. Then it comes to the data analysis and QA. Then it comes to the reporting dashboard and KPI trends. And then it comes to the business decision. And then it comes to the user. That is the typical business intelligence life cycle. Why BI comes into the market? The BI comes into the market. The reason is there are some questions which each and every entrepreneur have. What happened? What is happening? Why did it happen? What will happen? What do I want to happen? So these are the questions that each and every businessman, each and every entrepreneur go through. Okay, To give the answer to these questions, business intelligence is the solution. This is the traditional BI workflow. So if you go into this, this is the same which you learned in SDLC steps in your colleges, software development life cycle. Business analyst, interview knowledge worker to gather requirements. Then business analysts create high-level design document. Then it comes to the developers. And then developers create report and then go to the user. So this is the whole SDLC step. Now about ClickView. ClickView don't follow the traditional SDLC steps. ClickView consultant. Contact with the BI analyst, data architect, data modeler, ETL developer, BI developer, data quality analyst, BI operations. Take the data from them and give it to the user. That is how the traditional BI, uh, that is how the click view works apart from the traditional BI. Now, let's go to, let's learn about what is click view, how it comes into the market. ClickView is developed by an organization called ClickTech. So ClickView is developed by an organization called ClickTech in the year 1993. And it, it was an organization founded in Sweden. In initial stage, it was little unstable tool. And then it pick up its speed from 2010 onwards. In 2011, Gartner created a subcategory. Gartner created a subcategory. So there may be a question at your end that who is Gartner? Gartner is a research and analytical firm. Each and every organization in each and every IT industry, each and every retail sector are uh, financial domain sectors, each and everyone respect Gartner a lot because Gartner, every year they release their quadrant. Their quadrant related to which technology is on top, which technology is good, which technology captures the market, and which technology will be, will be in the top in the next 10 years. So Gartner created a subcategory at the year 2011, and they call that subcategory as a data discovery tool. ClickView was named the poster child for that category. They choose ClickView as a poster child for that this category. They release this category just for ClickView because they know the they know the benefits of ClickView for a customer. ClickView is a data discovery tool rather than a business intelligence tool. But ClickTech, which is an organization, parent organization of ClickView, chooses to describe themselves as a business discovery tool. Business discovery tool. Or business discovery enterprise. Instead of data discovery enterprise, Gartner once used a proverb that discovery business insights is much more important than discovering data. And even I agree about from with that viewpoint. Even I hope you agree with that viewpoint that 
business discovery is always greater than data discovery because we are a bi consultant and our job depend upon bi solutions and bi solution help an organization to grow their business so bi so business insight business discovery are always important So, come to my initial question. After working from after after working seven years in SAP Business Object, why I turned my direction towards the Click View? What attracted me towards Click View? The main difference between Click View and other BI solution. The main difference between Click View and other BI solutions is. Let me type it difference. in the in the classes also i i mainly i create simple notepad for my students i write down all the main highlighted points and at the end of the class i send this uh, notepad to notepad to my students so that it will it will always be handy for them and it will be easy for them to revise so what is difference between click view and other bi solution the first difference is associative user experience what do you, what i mean by associative user experience let me open my last slide of this one yeah i want this slide so we have traditional bi solution use predefined methods to navigate and explore data like in this traditional bi solution if we want to go to sales person i need to go to region then state then product and then sales person click view allows user to take whatever route they want means you can start from region you can start from state you can start from sales and you can start from product this is far more this is far far better way to explore data click tech uses a statement for that for to re, to represent this feature to represent this associative feature that you can start from anywhere you can start from anywhere to fetch the data instead of following the predefined path this click tech uses a statement that we work as mind work working the way your mind works your mind don't need any predefined path to find a solution your mind works in any whatever way you can find the solution the same way click view work click view work the same way your mind works i love the statement a lot so the first the first the first difference between the traditional bi solution or whatever the bi product available in the market like sap business objects cognos and tableau and the the click view is associative user experience now let me open the click view desktop let's let's go to little bit the practical things because we are the bi consultant we are the software engineers the practical is the most important part in our life in our in my classes also you will find that i usually teach each and everything in a practical way i don't like theory that much okay so let me open let me open a dashboard an existing dashboard okay So this is the dashboard which is developed in a click view. Okay. So let me click on a quarter, quarter three. Okay. I'm explaining you the second very important difference between click view and the other other BI tools. Let's call it hidden informations.
or reveal hidden information. So I clicked on quarter three. So it's quite clear when I click on quarter three. So before before I before I continue, let me explain you a small basic uh, concept of click view. Whenever you click on anything in a click view, it turns to to a green color. Can you see a fluorescent green green color? I just click on Q one, so it turns to a green color. I click on two thousand eleven, it turns to a green color. Whenever you click on anything, it turns to a green color. So it is select. Whenever you select anything, it's on a green color. The associated data with your selection, the associated data. With your selection turns to a white color. Can you see a white color over here? And non not as non associated data, non associated data turns to a gray color. So non associated data turns to a gray color. Associated data turns to a white color, and your selection represent in a green color. So let me click on quarter three. And let me click on a sales representative. Let me click on Cart Lynch. We can see we can see this because these values are green, which in click view means that they have been selected. When a selection is made, the interface automatically updates to not only show which data is associated with that selection. But also, which data is not associated with the selection? Which data is not associated with the selection? The white one means association. The gray one that means not association. Sometimes the associations can be pretty obvious. Like when I click on Q3, it is pretty obvious that it, July, August, and September will fall in quarter three. If I click on Q2. It's pretty obvious that April, May, and June will fall under Q2. It is pretty obvious. There is no much information in this. But can you see one thing? When I click on quarter three and cart lunch, it is quite visible that cart lunch sales sales his product in Nordic, USA, UK, and Japan. Cartland sell their product in Nordic, USA, UK, and Japan, but there is no product sold in Germany and Spain. That's why they are zero and they are grayed out. This extra information, this extra information that there is no single product sold in Germany and Spain, is a is of a great value. No. No other BI tools gives you this value, and it can be a starting point for a next in investigation. You can ask your sales representative to concentrate on Germany and Spain, so that your products will grow. This this hidden secret information is not revealed by any any of the any of the BI tools available in the market. This is only only possible in ClickView. That's that's why Click View is different to the other BI tool. That's why it is one of the most used technology in the market. So reveal hidden information. There is one more difference between Click View and the other BI tool. As a as a consultant, it should not impact us that much. But but yes, it's a great great uh, feature of ClickView. ClickView core technological differentiator is that it uses in-memory data model. In-memory data model. What does in-memory data model means? It means it stores all its data in RAM. It stores all in data in RAM. RAM means random access memory instead of disk. 
and we all know that random access memory is the is very much faster than this ram is much much faster than this this allows for very fast response time very fast response time resulting in a very smooth user experience in today's world each and every organization have tbs of data available with them and it's very hard for hard for a bi solutions to provide them a great response time and click view lead in this because it uses in memory data model click view is very much very very cost efficient that is one of the main reason click view is one of the most used bi technology in the market now let's go to our i practical scenarios let's open an interesting dashboard that's a movie database we all love movies so it's a movie database of hollywood movies okay so before i go to the dashboard area of movie database let's repeat that thing that how click view works with this interesting list box so here we have two list box one with the one containing fruits and the other containing colors when we select apple in the fruits area the screen automatically updates to show the associated data in the colors list box green and red can you see i selected apple it turns to a green selected value green associated value white non associated value gray if i click on banana it is showing that selected it is associated value in white banana is always in a yellow color it cannot be in a green and red if i choose lime lime is should be a green color it should not be a red and yellow so red and yellow is a non associated value white is a that is green is associated value and green is a selected value now let's go to the dashboard area so this is a dashboard tab which contains which contains a chart labeled number of movies so this is the chart this is the chart which consists consists the number of movies which lists the number of movies by a particular actor so you will find a particular actor over here james stewart 95 henry fonda 93 better davis 88 right so if if i wish to select only top 3 actors we can simply drag if i want to see the data only for top 3 actor look how interesting it is you just need to mouse over and leave your mouse can you see now it is showing the data only for the top 3 actors okay and all the data which is in white is a associated data value gray non associated data value and the green is a selected one right of course we want to select only a single value in a chart if i want to select only a single value in a chart it's not necessary to to hold your mouse and lasso it you just need to click like if i want to click on henry fonda double click on henry fonda and you will get the data of henry fonda right in any moment you can click on clear you can click on a clear button to move to a initial stage of your dashboard that is you all the selection will be reset isn't it interesting now we have three less boxes over here we have a director we have actors we have Let's assume I want to search in actor actor box. I want to search for Al Pacino. So I click on search. I type A L. All the A L names are displayed here. I type Al Pacino. So here it it is. I clicked on it. And look, I have the data for Al Pacino. 
number of movies here all the movies length less than 1 hour 1.5 to 2 hour number of movies over time the director with whom al pacino worked the movie's name titles everything is available over here so you can directly click on the list box search and click and search the movies. like if i want to search if i want to search for a particular particular title over here okay so i click on search i click on just f o r r i want to type actually forest gum okay but it is showing me if i type f o r can you see in after the word f o r all that o r over here okay in director we have 14 certain titles we have 99 i want to type r now in title there is only one for is gump in actor we have 27 i clicked on for is gump and this is my selection so let's assume i want to save the selection i want to bookmark the selection the same way you bookmark your google chrome internet explorer right you find a very good url you want to book bookmark it the same way you can do it over here bookmark add bookmark i just type it forest gum a 1994 movie i click done okay and then i plug it i then I do my research and analysis, whatever I wish. Okay. And after some time, some days or some months, I, I want to see my data for Forest Gump. So I click on bookmark and I click on Forest Gump. Or you can just type control plus one. And here I have the data for Forest Gump. Isn't it interesting? So this is a bookmark selection. Guys. And right now I'm showing you the features which user how user can experience a dashboard. At the background, there are lots of hard work to create this dashboard. And those hard work actually need proper learning of click view that I'm going to teach you. I'm going to teach you in the class how to develop this kind of good dashboards. The next thing that I want to show you a feature that is called cyclic groups. Can you see this chart over here? Okay. So that can be switched between the user. That can be switched between the user. Okay. So let's look into this ratio to total chart. By default, this chart shows movies grouped by duration, length of the movie. If we click on the little downward arrow, this little downward circular arrow, you will find that there are decade and year. Click on the decade to switch the view to movies grouped by decade. Can you see? If I click on year, can you see? Isn't it interesting? So from the same screen, you have you have the way to do three type of analysis: length, decade, year. Right? This is called the cyclic group. After this very interesting feature, let's go come back to the one of the traditional feature of business intelligence, and we call it drill down groups. So if I click on traditional app dashboard, okay. So we have a director list over here. I want to search for James Cameron. I hope you guys know about James Cameron. Remember Titanic, one of our child childhood best movie. I watched it when I was in class seven, and I loved it. So. I click on James Cameron as a director. 
As soon as I click on James Cameron, it goes down to the title area. It's drilling down. It's drilling down. Drilling down means hierarchy. It's going to a going down to a hierarchy. What do you mean by hierarchy? Hierarchy is the levels: country, resort, city, levels, year, quarter, month, level, levels, grandparent, father, mother, grandchildren, levels, senior software engineer, software engineer, trainee. Levels, right? So here, after clicking on Direct, it goes to the titles, and here it's Titanic. So I click on Titanic. We have the actors list over here, and I go to one of our best actor, Leonardo DiCaprio. I click on Leonardo DiCaprio, and I have the data over here. One of the best thing is you you can see the data over here. You know. All the dashboards are linked together. So if I click on a click view model, you will find the James Cameron Titanic Leonardo DiCaprio. If I click on dashboard, you will get the data for Leonardo DiCaprio. If I click on analysis, you will get the data for Leonardo DiCaprio, James Cameron, and Titanic. That means you you need these all dashboards are different for the different analysis purpose. But if you click on one dashboard, the other dashboards also select also changes as per your current selection. Isn't it wow? Yes, it is. Now let me show you one very interesting feature: a container. Can you see over here? What is container? Container are used to alternate between the display of different objects in the same screen space. In the same screen space. This is the same screen space. Here you will find average length of movies over time. But if I click on movie list, I get the movies list over here. The chart is shown by default, but you can any time go to the movie list. This is the use of container, a very important feature. There are many many other features are available. Click view is a vast. It's vast like an ocean. The more you dive. The more you get. Let me show you one more important feature. After all the slicing and dicing, drilling and view switching we have done, there is still the question on your minds. I know. At least that that question arises in my mind when I first click view four years back. That how to export this data into a Excel. How to export this data into a Excel? So you can export the data through Excel from here. This is the button. Click on it, and you have the data in your Excel. Isn't it easy and interesting? Right? Now, Click View. Click View has some tools, like Click View Desktop. Which we just I just show you. So click view desktop is the main main product to develop your dashboards. And then comes click view publishers. Click view publisher help your dashboard or reports to publish into the server. Click view server. Click view server help you help your Your documents, a dashboard, or reports to hold. Okay, so that it will be available to all the user. Okay, whatever your documents, whatever your dashboard is, all goes to the server. You can call it as a repository. And then come Click View Access Point. Click View Access Point is a portal. Click View Access Point is a portal from where you your user can see the. Dashboard, dashboards. It's almost like uh, it's not almost like a Gmail inbox. If I want to send a, a mail to you, you need to go to your Gmail to look into that mail. If you send a mail to me, I need to go to Gmail to look into the mail. And Gmail is a web utility, right? The same way, Click View Access Point is a utility to which you can view the dashboard, which is shared by some other developers or some other users with you. So, Click View Access Point is a portal of Click View. Our 
or a, or a point through at which you can share your dashboard, a place, a sharing place. Now, dashboard can be viewed by different different way. You can view the dashboard through web browser, Internet Explorer, Chrome, Firefox. You can view the dashboard through iPad and tablets. You can view the dashboard through iPhone, Android, Blackberry. You can view, you can save the dashboard in a PDF and mail it across. So there are multiple ways available. So that that makes the click view different than all the BI solution. All the BI solution is still, they are they are they are also giving this option to view the their dashboards and iPad and tablets and other other screens. But these are the main differences. Which makes Click View different, and or this makes Click View bow to the other BI tools. Now, I want to show you one very important thing because this this is all whatever I show you right now. This all the user experiences. This all, this all are the already developed dashboards. So, you know how to develop these dashboards. Let me show you. This is the script area. Okay, don't worry. You don't need to write the whole script. It's click view develop this script for you. But you need to follow a pro proper procedure to develop the screen. Okay, there are many loopholes over here, but I will try my best to uh, give you the proper understanding of each and every loophole, each and every problem of scripting. Okay. Don't worry, you don't need to write down. Don't worry, you don't need to write down the whole scripts. Even I do. Even I hate programming. Okay, I I love GUI. I love to play with the GUI. I hate programming. So don't worry about it. You don't you don't need to write it down. But you need to take care of the scripting part. It's automatically generated by the click view. You just need to give the source destination. That's it. And the click view take care of it. But there are many loopholes. There are many problems, eccentric keys, or loops, circular loops. We will discuss this in our class. I will try my best to give you the solution. Okay. Look, click view automatically generate this table structure. Uh, click view generate this table structure because of that scripting area. Whatever you write, whatever you load it there in the script, it will generate here. This is the table browser screen. So click view has three screen. You can say click view has three screen: dashboard, dashboard screen, edit script screen, and table browser. The, these three screens are the main screens for the developers. Always remember this. Let me show you the syllabus that what we are going to cover in the class. So the first lectures will the few lectures, one or two lectures will be the click view introduction and the click view. Then we'll discuss about click view environment. The introduction of data and scripting. Remember, a script screen. Yes, how to joins and concatenation. Then there are different scripting consideration. How to how resolve the synthetic loops. These are the problems of click view. We will see how these problems can be resolved. They are not always problem, but yes, they are. They are the problems to handle. We'll discuss when, by in which scenarios these are not problems. Okay, we will talk about basic QB data model, click view data, QBD files, advanced scripting. We'll talk about the advanced scripting, the functions, variables, analysis. We'll discuss about the sheet objects, how to create the sheet. This is from here the dashboard part starts. Charts, reports, sheet object, other sheet objects like CIDR, bookmarks. 
you already know about it settings of click view management console we'll discuss about the user system and status we'll discuss about the qv security we'll discuss about the optimization technique so that click view run more faster we will create some dashboards visualization we'll, we'll discuss about the advanced features which will help in our projects and we'll discuss about the troubleshooting and at the end i will help you to do your interview preparation believe me guys i created a interview questionnaire and that is tried and tested by my students if you learn that questions if you learn that questions with the proper with the proper and with with your heart you can break any any interview with in this it industry okay i will help i will provide you that interview preparation document i will provide you to i will help you to build your resume okay each and everything whatever we discussed over here whatever consists in the syllabus all our practical scenario will i will give you i will give you the task you need to complete it this is how this is whole a project will we will go through we will, the workflow is like a project okay we will develop a project in this so that is how it is i hope i, I clear your doubts your basic doubts and click view i hope you enjoy this demo and i hope we'll meet soon in the class thank you very much